so hi uh, in this video i will show you how you can set up google fit api and get your google fit data as json as simplest in the form as json and you can design your uh, graphs uh, like this like your steps count how your progress is going on your calories and you can get uh, more data sets uh, this api so uh, log into nocodeapi.com and when you log in go to the marketplace search for google fit api and click on use this click on the button make google fit api and you have to authenticate with your google fit account so click on this button choose the account you using for your google fit and uh, continue and this will get back to the no code api and that's all and uh, just give a name to your google fit api you can also add multiple account if you want for now we're using this account just give a name like fit api and just create now your google fit api endpoint is ready to use so to test it out click on this button use this api so we have two endpoints for now like a list of all the data source list and second is the aggregate data sets so let's test this so to get the your data sets for some particular fields like you want to get the step counts active minutes calories expended heart minutes sleep segment weight your activity summary so you can pass multiple and you can pass one by so we just going to set for uh, step counts calories and uh, 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 wait, there should be no space by separate comma. Click and test. When you click and test, you will get a simplest JSON format of your step counts uh, and calories and the weight because we don't have any weights, so you will not get the weight. You can ask pass the param option parameter like a time period by default is a seven days period you can pass seven 30 days and two days and duration of format data so you, this is a get request you can also call into the browser and you will get your json data if you need because this data is a formatted on our site if you want original data you can just pass the query parameter format data is equals to false and you will get actual response as Google returning. So it's up to you what data format do you want to use it. And that's all. This is the simplest way you can use Google Fit API and build design, uh, build your graphs and visualize how you're doing this application. So just log into no code API.